Hello and welcome to DTW GED Prep. Welcome. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at irrational numbers. Okay, you commonly do see questions like this. Let's say you know your um, five, the first five questions without calculator. You would meet questions like this. So you know, just get that mark. Okay, by you know just learning, it's it's not that hard. Okay, okay, most students think it's hard because of all the square roots and numbers in front of it. No, 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 no. It's just simple addition. Okay, and I'm going to explain that in this video. Okay, so please do relax. All right. So uh, before we get on to the video, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. And um, you can please check our website for summary notes, study guides, your sciences, social studies are really free practice questions, your GED math formula sheet download. Okay, um, they are on this website. And also you can join our Facebook group. Uh, you know, we are over 22,000 members. If you have any questions regarding the GED test in your state, in California or whichever state, New York City, you know, New York City has a lot of uh, a lot of students always ask questions about the GED there and also Arizona because the Arizona take the civic test. So uh, if you have questions, whichever state you are in, you can feel free to drop your questions on the Facebook group and you will see a lot of um, you receive a lot of support. OK, uh, all the links would be in the video description box of this video. And if you uh, require one-on-one -on -one tutoring. I tutor one-on-one, -on -one, your math, um, social studies, RLA, your sciences. You can contact me for that. My email is in the video description box of this video. All right, so now please let's get on to the video, okay? Sorry for taking your time. Now, irrational numbers. What are irrational numbers, okay? They are real numbers, okay, that cannot be represented as a simple fraction such as uh, one over two, okay? Uh, so when you can't express them like this, they're called irrational numbers, all right? So a common irrational number is the pi, all right? Where you have, when, you know, when you do uh, a pi is, we, we, we had to now say it's 22 over seven, but the real value of a pi is 3.1415. You know, the numbers keep on, the, num the decimal value never stops at any point. Okay, it's not like um, some values like one divided by three, where you have a zero point, you know, three, 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 you have a recurring number. This is irrational, is, is, is a rational number because it's reoccurring. But when you have values like this, as it never stops, okay? It's an irrational number. And you see them in this way. You have them like the square root of seven is a rational number, all right? So now let us try to resolve all this. So questions that you that you see on the rational numbers in your GD look like this. When they say something like this, simplify nine square roots, nine roots uh, three, plus seven root three. How do you do this? You don't need to be confused, okay, or panic about this. Now, once they have the same square root, you can see this is square root three, this is square root three. Once they have the same square root, it's just like when you have nine x plus seven x, you can see they are the same. So you can combine them, okay? When we combine this, we get what? 16 x. The same thing here. When you combine it, you say nine plus seven which is what 16 then you leave this as what root three okay you don't add most students the students make the mistake of doing three plus three and they put six here no you leave it the same okay because this carries the same root all right so nine root three plus seven root three is 16 root three all right look at this this is three root seven plus root seven now, remember in math, especially when you you in algebra, when you have um, 3x plus x, it means there's an invisible one here. So when you add it, what do you have? You have a 4x, okay, because there's an invisible one. So in math, usually there's no need to put this one here because 1 times x is x. So in math, we just leave it as 3x plus x. 
okay but you know students do get confused about why why x and some students might make the mistake of saying this is uh 3x squared you know they put the x together and put three no there's an invisible one here so also here there's an invisible one here so three root seven plus root seven there's an invisible one is three plus one which will give us what three then we drop our root seven okay we don't add the seven in it no the root seven stick stays as root seven now look at this simplify six root eight minus two root eight we subtract this so this gives us what four that's six minus two it gives us four and we stick to our root eight do we end here mm. i'm going to come back here we're going to come back here but let me quickly do something here then we'll come back here okay now when you give it something like this it says simplify root 20 all right what do you do now remember it's always good to know your perfect squares i have done a video on square roots and cube roots it's always good to know your perfect square such as what is the square root of four is two what is the square root of nine is three and what is the square root of 16 is four at least know your first five what's the square root of uh 25 is what five okay so to simplify this you try to find to get a perfect square trying to find how you can get out a perfect square from 20. are you with me like how, how am i going to explain this for you to to understand it better you try to find how to multiply something with a perfect square like try to get the factors like factoring out a perfect square from 20. and to factor out a perfect square from 20 you look for things like start with the easiest one like four times 20 is four times five right four times five what is four times five is 20 right okay so it's the same thing four times five is 20. okay this is the closest i can get okay are you getting it now so four times five is 20 and which can also be further broken down as root four times root five all right so now we know that four we can get the perfect square of four which is what two so we have two times root five okay five is not a perfect square so we leave it this way so our final answer here becomes two root five you can see here now that this is now a is now simplified okay it's a rational number that has been simplified to the uh, simplest form it can be now let's go to this four back here so we have four root eight now can we bring out a perfect square from eight yes okay that's can we factor out a perfect square we can do a four times two a four times two is eight so we have here four put in parentheses here that would be four times two so here we have four in parentheses this will be root four times root two okay so you know this is under a big root then when we want to separate them four we take a root two we take a root that's what happened here and also that's what happened here all right so here now we can now find the square root of four okay what we are trying to do is find the square root of this four that's why we separated it so we have four in parentheses the square root of four is two times square root two okay so here we now have two times root two which is two root two okay we can now open up the parentheses when we open up we do four times two four can only multiply the number it can't multiply this root this is in root four cannot come in here and multiply to no okay we can't distribute that way four only affects the number here too so four times two is what eight so our final answer is eight root two do you see that how we simplify that now let's get to here don't worry when we do these three examples you would understand it better perfectly now how can we factor out a perfect square from here 27 you know if that's where it's, it's good to know your knowledge of your multiplication table it's going to help you we can factor out a nine okay a nine times three we give us 27 so we do nine times three so what would that give us 
from here. So we have from here we have root 9 times root 3. And we can find the square root of 9, which is 3 times root 3. So our final answer is 3 root 3. We have simplified this. Now look at this. How do we simplify this? This this is 63. Hmm. I think we can also factor out a 9. 63 divided by 9 is 7. Right? So 63, we now have a 9 times 7 is 63. Okay? So what the aim is, we're looking for a perfect square that will multiply a number that would give us this number, 63. Okay? So we now have square root 9 times square root 7. And what's the square root of 9? That is 3 times root 7. So finally, our answer is 3 root 7. So this is our answer. Now, look at 150, the square root of 150. What, what perfect square can we bring out? The closest to me is 25. We can somehow bring out the 25. Okay? That's why you see the, the, the perfect squares of the first five, five uh, numbers would really help you. We can bring out a 25. And yes, so it means a 25 times a 6 will give us 150. Just look at this. So when you say you can bring out a 25, all you need to do is divide 150 by 25. And you see it will give you 6. So 25 times a 6. And we now have root 25 times root 6. Okay? So here, what is the square root of 25? is 5. Then times root 6, which will be give us 5 root 6. So this is our final answer. Okay, I hope you understand this video, this uh, topic well. It's easy, just take it as it is. It's quite easy. Okay, you can rewatch the video. I'm also trying to, um, I'm also trying to go into arrange some more practice questions for you. Okay, it would be on the website, and I would announce it when, uh, you know, I have curated practice questions for you on the channel. So please do subscribe. Thank you, and. Um, uh, see you in our next video. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ, for he's the way, he's the truth, he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last and give us that peace on earth that we need and deserve by his power. Thank you and see you in our next video. I wish you success in your forthcoming GD test and also in life. Okay. Take care and see you in our next video.